What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna be checking out the eTrailer lock kit. It's gonna come with a pin lock, coupler lock, and hitch lock. Let's check it out. First up is our pin lock here. It's gonna go through our latch and make it so that no one can operate it while it's in there. So if this is down on your trailer and it's attached, you can put this on there, nobody can unlatch from your trailer. Or if your trailer's just sitting on its own, it's got the pin lock in there, it's not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to hook up to it. You can't undo this to get the ball in there. The whole pin's made out of chrome plated steel and it's got a rubber ice here for grip when you go to mess with the lock. You also got a dust cover there, that way it keeps the elements from getting to your lock core, which is key to like with everything here so you don't have to have multiple keys on you. I like that a lot. Easy to take off there, operate your latch, and then when you get it on or just take the trailer off, it's easy to put it right back. The pin works in half inch increments. So you're gonna go from two and a half to two inches to one and a half to one inches to half an inch. So that is about what gives you lengthwise when you're going to put it on your latch. Next up is our coupler lock. This is gonna fit around your coupler and make sure that no one can hook up to it when you're not there. It's easy, unlock there. You can see it's got the grooves here. It goes on the inside and you push this up and that locks where the ball would go. That way, let's just put it on there and show you. I push up on that on the bottom, turn the lock. Now it's on there. Now there is a little bit of movement. We do get questions like that, but it's not gonna come off there and it's gonna keep anybody from bagging up there and trying to get a ball in there. Now a couple things about it. You're gonna need a lip on your trailer coupler and it's gonna be, need to be two and five sixteenths. That's the only ones that this one will work with. That way it can slide on there easily and lock up into place. The whole thing's made out of a powder coat aluminum. So it's gonna hold up to those elements when you leave it out on your log or whatever with it locked, it's not gonna bother it. Now we get a lot of questions about this coupler lock, like how much does it move around? And like I kind of said earlier, it does move back and forth quite a bit. And a lot of people wanna know if they can get a crowbar in there. You can see, yeah, you can get a crowbar in there on several points, but it's more of a theft deterrent. In combination with this though, it's just a second guard against anybody messing with your trailer. If they really wanted to get to it, they could find a way, but this is gonna keep people honest. Last but not least is our hitch lock. This is gonna lock your ball into your hitch, that way nobody can mess with it when you're not around. It's also a twist lock, so you're gonna spin this to slowly unlock it. That makes it harder to pick that lock because of all that's going on in the inside of this barrel here. You can see how it works on the inside and how it just twists here with the key and that's what pulls it tight and locks it. Much like the pin lock, it's made out of that chrome plated steel. It's got a nice rubberized end here to help you grip when you're turning the key on the other side. And it's got that dust cover to help protect that lock core from the elements. Now for some measurements. You got the diameter that's gonna be 5 8 then the inside pin is gonna be two and 5 8 and then the whole thing is gonna be six inches long. This kit works together really well. I think it's a good option for protecting your trailer and your ball mount. Now nothing's perfect. If somebody really wants to get something, they can find a way to do it. But this is gonna be a good deterrent to keep maybe, they're gonna be like, no, nah, I'm gonna go to that next trailer that doesn't have a lock on it. This one's all secured up, not gonna mess with that. Plus, it's all one key, so that's awesome too. That way, if you did eventually buy these all separately, you'd have three different keys laying around and you'd have to be, is this this one, is that this one, that one, and that can just be a pain. One key's way easier, plus it's better to be safe than sorry. Thanks for hanging out, I hope this helped.